it's time for Christmas decorations are coming out and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. This one is a very special one and one that I've done for a few years now and really enjoy filming and doing and just the whole experience is one of my favorite things ever. And that is doing the Christmas decorations. So James and I have got everything out. It's surrounding me. You can kind of see the tree in the background and we're gonna take all of the halloween -y bits put them away for the year and we're gonna put out all the Christmas decorations and I'm so excited. We make it into a bit of a tradition. So we wear our Santa hats, we get some mulled wine going, we have mince pies, like it's just a whole affair. And I think we're gonna also do the fireplace and like the Christmas music and stuff like we used to do too. So very excited, cannot wait to get everything out. The only thing that we're missing is I ordered some cushion covers from H&M that haven't come yet. So that's gonna be an add-on at the end of the video because they haven't turned up, but they will be going on the sofa. So literally this entire room is getting a makeover. The entire thing is changing. And I'm excited about it. trees up and it's in the corner we've got the Christmas music on and we're gonna decorate it does look a bit wonky why does it look really wonky I don't know. does it look wonky to you it looks like it's leaning so no anyway we're gonna decorate her and put the star on top I don't know whether to go for the big Disney star or whether to go for the classic little white one but I'm kind of feeling the classic little white one this year I'm sure I'm decided I got these little wooden beads on Etsy a couple of years ago and they're basically just three different garlands that we weave around the tree and they just add a little like Scandi vibe and I really like them. Um, and they go really well with all the decor as well, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and weave these round while James gets a saucepan out ready for some more wine. brightness turned right up while we did the tree because it's in the window so sorry if that was really overexposed but we've got two stockings um James and Jess obviously two J's it does look really annoying when we have double things because typically you'd have like two different letters but we're trying to decide whether we put the stockings here or whether they go somewhere else because we don't really have anywhere else to put them which is annoying but I want them out because they look cute so I don't know what we're going to do with them or do we just not have them out this year what? You think have them out? Where do we put them though? Last time we put command strips on top, like the command hooks and we just hung them. So maybe we just do that again and we do them here. Okay, we'll do that. We'll command hook those there, but we need to get some hooks first. Pending.
I did a recent Primark shop and picked up one of these after seeing them in next for 20 odd pounds. Primark had the exact same thing for, I think it was like eight pounds, six pounds. This is in the scent Mistletoe Kiss. But it's like a little ceramic Christmas tree with the reeds. And I figured this is quite a good thing to have because it's good for now. Obviously it's full of the scent, etc. But in the future, I can just refill this with a different scent and then I can use it for years and years to come. Because you can buy the reeds and stuff really cheap and easy. Um, and also the different scents and things. Or to be honest, we could just put water inside and then drops of like the White Company Winter one or something. So very easy to replace. But these just come with a little bottle of the scents. This is just the mistletoe kiss. And then you obviously have the, if I can get it out. And then you have the little tree. So it just looks like so on a shelf or something. And then I can obviously just fill it up with this and fill it up with different things in the future. So this is gonna be one of the additions to the shelves behind me. And then also from Primark, I got this for two pounds, which is like a little tea light holder that looks a bit like an acorn, not an acorn, a pine cone. And then I got this woodland scented candle, which I thought just looked really festive and pretty. It smells really Christmassy. And then this little tea light holder, which is just a star. I probably won't put any tea lights actually in them, but I just think they look cute on the shelves. So we're gonna try and zhuzh up the shelves and make them a bit Christmassy. And also the middle of the table and just try and add a little more festivity into this room. We've also got our little collectible snow globe. So every year James and I have been together, we've been collecting these. So we need to get the third one, but they're not for sale yet. And they're basically just the little Disney store dated um, Christmas snow globes. Very, very cute. We've changed up the TV cabinet. So we've still got the big print and the palm leaves. And we've now got my little Scandi Nutcracker, which is a couple of years old from Matalan. I got that in 2020. Same as this, but this one's from, I think the range, if not the range, then home sense, I can't remember which. And then we've got the little garland under the telly, which looks really cute. So this is the Christmassy side, which I think this bit is very nice and like not too festive. And then that bit, which we're not 100% sold on this, this might change and just be nothing. We're not sure yet, because that might go in the bedroom. I really don't know. I personally think bedroom and I think just nothing there maybe. Um, but then it might look odd with the stockings. I don't know, stressing. <laughs> last year's vlog to try and see where we put everything because I feel like there's so many decorations and I don't know where they're gonna go so we're trying to work it out and it's stressing me out there's just a lot of things <sighs> maybe we need more mulled wine but it's also really warm the heating's not even turned on it's so warm in here um so we're still going and fingers crossed it's fine I feel like my video last year was better though so now I'm like whoopsie probably should have done more we're laughing because that was my side table last year and obviously this year I've got the whole thing and it looks so much better now. So weird, isn't it? Mm. Oh, we put them all around the TV last time as well. We had the lights the whole way up and around the telly. Yeah. Can you see this? We put lights all around the telly last year. I'll link last year's vlog so you can check it out, but we're trying to work out what went where because we're getting really stressed with where things go and we're losing light and we're losing the will to live, quite honestly. <laughs> Aren't we, Joe? <laughs> You want Mickey to go down here, don't you? Yeah. I think Santa went there last year. Yeah, the gonk was on the edge of that thing. Maybe we put the silver gonk there. <laughs> okay, we need to stop watching my old video. Thought I'd find, I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of all the Christmassy bits at the end of this video, which I realised was filmed about three weeks ago and I've just completely forgot to edit, but I thought I would get it done now, put this up, and you can finally see what my decorations look like because we're now in the point where, like, it's about 10 days out of Christmas and I feel like that's when I really start to get festive. So I know this is the kind of video I would love to watch at this time of year. So hopefully you guys love it too. But this is my Christmas decorations this year. Enjoy. It's very festive, but I also don't think it's that festive. But let me show you around. 
So these are the cushions that I was talking about from H&M. So I basically mixed up all of the cushions on the sofa. So I bought these three from H&M in different packs. I'll leave all of them linked. And then I got these two, which are Christmassy, but we figured that when it's not Christmas, we can just turn them around and have the plain side so that we're not having to mix and match all the time. But I really like having the little hint of black in there. Then we've got um, some little Christmas beads that I got from Etsy a couple of years ago in the middle of the table with a festive fireside candle, little fluffy throws and stuff. Christmas trees here looking very cute and festive and fancy. We turn the lights on rarely to be honest. We've been putting them on more this week but we haven't really used them up until now. And then all of the Christmas presents are under the tree ready to go to their new owners. We've got a little wooden Mickey that I got from Costco last year which I absolutely love. He was reduced from about £50 or something down to like, I can't remember, was it 150 or something like that? It was reduced anyway, very heavily reduced and he's really really cute. Uh, I've got a little gong cup here. We did decide not to put the thing across the front of the telly because we couldn't turn it on and off. So we moved that and then we've got the stockings hung here with that cushion that I just booted off the sofa so we'll pretend it's not there. Um, but I got these from Aldi for 6 99 and they're just very cute for hanging the stockings and it means I don't have to tuck them in the drawer which is perfect. And then next to the telly I've just got my thingy that I always have like the pot with the palm things. Print's still there and then we've got a little gonk from HomeSense who's just chilling on the side and then we've got this Christmas tree and the Nutcracker which this is from Matalan last year and I love him so much. He's so aesthetic and like Scandi but I can never find him anywhere. Like he's literally been sold out in Matalan since about a week after I got him and I've never seen anything like it since but I love him so much. <laughs> Okay, in the bedroom, hello me in the TV, we've got the little garland here, which is working perfectly for drawing the Christmas into this bedroom. And then it's got some little lights sewn through it. We've got two stockings hung on here. We're gonna ignore all the stuff. I'm going to see family for a couple of days. So this is like a bag of prezzies and then we've got my bag ready to fill up with all the stuff. But that's what the um, that looks like. There's a picture frame that needs to get hung back up here because it fell off the other day. And then on the windowsill, we've just got my snow globes all two of them because the other one we couldn't get they're not doing these anymore which is really annoying so we've got the 2022 one here with all my crystals we've got this little thing which I got from the Disney store last year which I love it's just like a really cute little ornament that I think is perfect for like just having forever because it's one of those ornaments that just looks retro but also never ages and I kind of love that and then on this side we've just got my 2021 snow globe and we bought a customizable snow globe this year from Etsy which you could basically put like whatever you wanted onto the front of it and we just got 2022 and it's like a little white one with a normal seam because Disney have stopped doing these snow globes which if you watch my vlogs recently I've talked about it before and it's talked about a lot in an upcoming vlog but they've stopped doing them and it's really annoying because we did start collecting them so I don't know what to do I'm hoping they come back next year or that they were like definitely still coming back in I don't know but we just thought we'd get a different one for this year and then if we have to change the tradition up and just buy like normal Christmas ones we will if we can still get Disney ones in the future we will I don't know but we're gonna see what happens <laughs> And then above the bed, with this beautiful golden hour lighting, we've just got some snowflakes hung around the pictures which came from H&M Home and they just look really, really cute up there. Just gives a little bit of a festive touch. But that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my festive decor and seeing what I've done with my house. We haven't done as much as normal. Like normally I'd have quite a lot more decor out, but we wanted to make it a little bit more minimal this year and just kind of bring the festivities in without making it cluttered because my house is very cluttered, let me tell you. And there will be a series coming in January, don't fear. There's gonna be a giant decluttering series, but um, that's basically all of the decor that James and I have done this year. And we're actually gonna head to Home Sense in a minute, I think, and just kind of have a little look what's there. Um, whether we buy anything or not, I don't know. Whether we get any decorations or not, I don't know. We just thought we'd go and have a little look and see what they've got um, and just do some little festive things this afternoon. But hopefully you like this video, guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, hit the notification bell for more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.